With the gorge fires and Hurricane Harvey, we're all seeing how important it is to be ready to evacuate in an emergency. September is National Preparedness Month. KGW has teamed up with the American Red Cross and other safety agencies to help you realistically get ready. Each week we'll be giving you ideas of little things you can start doing now that will add up to keeping you safe. KGW's Nina Melhoff shows us how to make a kit for your home, work and car. In a big emergency, when electricity and plumbing is out, people are hurt and infrastructure is destroyed, water is going to be the number one thing you need while you wait for help. And we recommend having one gallon per person per day for 14 days. Bonnie Cushman with the Regional Water Providers Consortium broke it down for us by containers you can easily find online. So this is a 15 gallon container, so roughly enough for somebody to have one gallon per person per day for the 14 days. So these two blue containers are seven gallon containers. Just start somewhere. Even old pop containers are great to store water in. Just replace with fresh water or fresh bottles every few months and keep some in your car. We saw hundreds of people stranded for hours in January when our snowstorm hit. Snacks and water can really help. But at home or at work, it's all about where to store this much water. 14 gallons per person. A dark, out of the way place, but on a main floor like a hall closet is perfect. Don't put it in the basement, which could collapse during an emergency. If you have a garage, it's great. And if you have a shed or something else outside as well that has room to store water, go for it. Yeah, because these are big, so if you don't they have are. Them in your house, this is perfect. Then comes the food, tools, and first aid you need to keep packed near that water. Monique Dugas with the American Red Cross says start with buying a few things each time you grocery shop so you don't have the pressure of putting a kit together all at once. Also have your emergency contacts written out on a piece of paper. The people that you need to get in touch with, written out, phone number and email address, in case you need to get a hold of them and you're not able to through your traditional cell phone. Gadgets you can find on Amazon like a hand crank or solar powered radio that can also charge your cell phone. Canned or packaged food enough for each person for 14 days. Don't forget a multi-tool so you can open those cans or cut things. A first aid kit. This is really important because a small cut could turn into an infection or some bigger issue for you if you're not able to access emergency care. And before each refill, squirrel away a pill or two of your family's important medication. Pack it up in your house and a small version for your car. Our recommendation is at least three days worth of supplies and water. And so this is pretty darn close. And we have a checklist for ideas to put in your emergency kit and all this information you just heard, plus more on escape routes, how to get your whole neighborhood on board with the plan, all on kgw slash keepingyousafe.com.